as usual, trying to make an idea about buffers, etc. I've got to take a third exit up here somewhere. So, always trying to remember to cancel the indicator. Um, yeah, some of you guys have put like uh, little tickers on your bike, which it sounds uh, pretty good actually. Um, if you can put tickers on your bike, so you can actually hear um, if the uh, indicator's on. Um, I'm not sure if I could hear the ticker, to be honest, but we'll see. Might just uh, concentrating again. Indicate left. I haven't been on here for uh, for some time. <laughs> uh, confidence is lacking a little bit, but um, within the sort of five, first five minutes, ten minutes of riding again, I, um, I feel pretty okay. Um, when it stands still for a good, good three or four months, actually, and um, actually not too bad, a little bit sluggish, but then I think you can get that with any bike you haven't played with for a while. I will promise I'll speak more in a bit. I have to listen to where I'm going. <laughs> I'm just happy to give you a uh, bird's eye view of ride for those who don't ride um, and are just interested in the bike. Um, I've had lots of uh, Lots of comments about people who haven't um, haven't ridden yet, and uh, they like the content because um, it gives them a point of view. And uh, yeah, I remember when I was uh, looking at riding, um, I thought, my gosh, it's great to have somebody actually with a camera and a helmet, like I have on here. So there's my hello, <laughs> my uh, chin cam held. GoPro, just to give you guys a a point of view of a ride. Look left and right, even though it's green. Again, could be a emergency service vehicle coming through, or it could be a cyclist who doesn't care about red lights, or a car who uh, thinks that. Uh, they've got right away for whatever reason anyway I think we're almost at the destination not sure it's a you know it's been a very very hot day today so again I'm in my leathers as usual but just with a t-shirt on um, not trousers not leggings or anything like that yes of course underwear <laughs> Um, another reason for doing that, I think, is uh, if for whatever reason you need to have uh, help. Um, I don't really want another pair of clothes cut away from me. Right, second exit. Oh, this is such a lovely evening. We've had the rain. Had a thunderstorm, and uh, the cool air is going through my textiles, and it's actually very nice on the skin. Up, down. I think that's the end. That's it. So left and right check before I make a turn. Closing down my gear, checking over left shoulder, nice quiet turn. And then cancelling my indicator. Some beautiful houses down here. So the point of today is I'm going to quickly show you 
um, how to start the engine, really, and how to pull away. Uh, because I don't see many people doing that, to be honest. And um, it can be a bit tricky because sometimes, as you know, with this particular model, QA Superlight SE125, if you have the stand down, it will cut out the engine as a uh, emergency cutoff, you know, as a precaution. And it took me a long time to figure that out. But it does say in the manual. I will say it does say in the manual, and it's in English. Uh, what you need to do. All right, where are we going from here? I think I'm going left at the top. Let's have a look. Right, it's a Sunday evening. Most people are indoors now. However, you still might have children, young adults. Um, and uh, there could be a party going on, so just be aware. Keep to the centre of the road. So my left and my right are equal danger. And uh, just, I think I'm going left here, actually. Yeah. Um, just expect people do not see you. Expect that people can't see a little. There's a dog there. Did you see the dog? Look at the paws underneath the, the vehicle. Big wide berth. There we go. So that's another thing to look out for. You look in the road in front of you you're watching what the road in front of you is doing but have a look by the wheels of the cars as well so like that when I spotted four fours in front of that car just by looking underneath um, and so your, pro your, your vision is going to be all the way to the front and then to the, and towards you you're going to have to be all the way to your left and all the way to your, to your right actually I think this is the one I'm going to go to Because it's super important, and if a car, I'll go to the right here. If a, um, a dog or a cat or a dog runs in front of you and you hit it, how bad are you going to feel? Well, I'm going to feel massively bad. Right, so this little bit of car park here is uh, pretty good for doing demonstrations, so I'm going to just give myself a load of space. And I'm just going to come to a halt here. Okay, so I'm just going to switch off. Okay. Right, let's get off the bike and then have a chat about it. Okay. What I will do is turn my sat off because I can't understand a word she's saying. Okay, so Keyway Superlight 125 SE model. Um, again, it's a 125, it's not going to go up a hill very, very quickly, very uh, strongly, as it were, like an, uh, a more uh, higher powered bike is. However, it's got what it takes to get out of situations. Like if you have a problem, I just my eyes are actually like I have small breath. Um, if you've got a problem with, um, you know, you need to get out of, uh, get quickly around around them. If you just notice someone speeds up around on your right, and you need to get out of the way if you're in the way. Um, yeah, my um, I want to talk about things I want to do to this bike um, in the next year, year and a half, uh, if possible. Um, the the front light isn't a fantastic. It's not a fantastically bright light. Um, so what I would like to do is, I, I've seen people do this already, I'm going to try and put some extra lights here um, just to give it um, my side lights a bit more, excuse me, a bit more um, um, street presence. And I'll probably end up having a uh, an LED system for that. Um, not too much to uh, drain the battery. Um, I probably uh, have to talk to my garage chappy about that because I am not au fait to be honest with electrical and I really would not want to touch anything electrical on this bike <laughs> um, so that's one modification I would like to change um, one of the other questions you've had 
was the um, the speedo, you know, basically the, the dials. In this weather, in the sunlight, yes, you can see that you can go up to 30 kilometers an hour, 40 kilometers, sorry, 30 or 40 miles an hour. And the lovely big dial of white is your kilometers, um, excuse me, kilometers an hour. Okay, on pause. Right, I just, I just turned off my sat nav because she was talking to me still in my ear. Um, yeah, so what I want to do is I want to be able to change my dial, um, potentially for, a, if I can get an LED one, as in like a, um, something that can either make it brighter with a natural proper miles per hour on there or even a digital one. Um, I might end up having an, an extra one here somewhere just to pop in there. Um, I know some people can put their mobile phones in and put a uh, speedo thing here but I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. Again that's going to be a, um, a chat with my garage chap who's far more uh, intelligent on all things mechanical than I am. Um, I'll leave it to the experts. So, anyway, without further ado, I would like to take you guys on a little, uh, not to say education, because I'm not the best person to be educating people on how to ride. I am still very much a learner, and I'm probably going to cock this up anyway, <laughs> so we'll see what we're doing. Okay, so... Um, it's on the centre. Sorry, it's on the side, uh, on the side step down here. Now it does have a centre, okay, a uh, centre stand. And for this bike, it's actually quite a heavy bike. Um, there's different pe way people can do it. Sometimes they just move the handlebars and they take hold of that and they just pull it. And I'm a bit worried this is going to snap. To be honest, when that happens, this thing at the back. Um, you need the centre really if you want to do chain stuff. Um, but for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm putting the side down. When you've got the side down, you are not going to be able to start the engine. This is something I learnt a while back, and it took me a few attempts to realise what was going wrong. So, let me explain. Sides down, okay? Right. I'm going to put my... Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to put my... Um, clutch in okay i'm going to put my engine onto ready okay um it should be in neutral again this is a dodgy oh i've got the green then there we go so let go now so neutral green sometimes it doesn't come up there's another little problem with this particular keyway um again i think one of you guys very kindly said it was a uh, potentially a um a dodgy uh neutral switch um, i'm tended to think you're right so, okay, so, clutch in, okay, this is down, and I'm going to press the button to start it, okay, so that's this one here, start button, oh dear, it doesn't work, okay, if I put my uh, side stand up, press the button, look at that, okay, now watch this, I don't know if you can see this or not, I'm going to put my side stand down, it stops, okay? That's normal for this, uh, for this particular model, okay? So when you get on here, get yourself comfortable, okay, put your, put your ignition key in, and then before you do anything else, yeah, side stand is up, okay? Next thing, the other thing I, I uh, let's switch off again, Another thing I found I forgot um, when I was riding normally, um, I'm using my indicators, this is your left indicator, this is your right indicator. Um, what I found is I actually hit, I don't know if you can see this, I hit the um, off switch. <laughs> that's, my indic oh, that's my mobile phone again. Right, so here is the engine cutoff switch, and this is the engine on the switch okay you turn the switch off okay that turns everything off all right um and i usually i usually put it into this when i park it up okay as a as an, an extra precaution i'll put my key on <coughs> okay so got the engine light light um just to say yes it's ready we're in neutral i've got my stand up okay to press the um throttle or in neutral 
Okay, I can press the start button. Doesn't work. Okay, press it on. Listen to this. I'm not sure you heard that, but that started the mechanics, the electrical mechanics for the bike. I press the on button again. It's working. Okay. If I'm if I'm do my indicator left and right, blah blah blah, and then I accidentally press this button here to turn it off, which what happens? It switches everything off. That's normal. That's what it should do. Okay. Um, I found a very um, I was very embarrassed one day because I actually went to a um, <coughs> I went for a ride and I was turning the key. Uh, sorry, they're turning the steering wheel, and I was and I pressed that top button into. Um, turning off instead of turning it to my right you know my right indicator and it was very embarrassing and I spent uh, a good two hours getting a lift back home only to realize that what I should have done is actually pressed it on and then Head west towards Broadway. press it on <laughs> but that's a rookie mistake and nobody would all make it like everyone's gonna drop their bike okay Right, so we have a working and uh, moving uh, vehicle now, okay? So it stands up, I'm in neutral, engine's running, okay? Light is on automatically. You can have it turned off as you wanted to. I always keep it on. Right, so we're on an empty part of the um, um, car park. How do you get going? Right, okay. So this pedal here, that is your, um, your gear, okay? To, to put into first gear, you depress, you, pr you pull back on the throttle and push it once, it goes a click. You're now engaged in first gear because you push down one, all the way down. You can't go any further than that, that's first gear. You notice that your neutral has then turned off, okay? If I now very slowly let go of the throttle, it's going to move forward, Okay? So I'm not touching the accelerator, the, the uh, right side. It will move itself forward, okay, just on the, the bike itself. Right. So when you start off, you put it on first, keep left foot down, and then my, my right foot will go on the back brake. This one goes on the back brake, okay? So the right side here on my steering wheel, on my steering wheel, excuse me, on my handlebar, that's my front brake, goes the front, back brake is my pedal here, and that's my, th that's my throttle, okay? So clutch this side, throttle, or make it go faster that side, okay? Right, and all I'm going to do here is I'm going to give a little bit of a throttle, listen to the engine, okay? So about 3,000 revs, and I'm going to very carefully and slowly pull out my clutch watch as I as I'm take off my foot with the brake okay clutch out slowly give a bit more throttle there okay very gently all I needed to do was a very very gentle pull on the throttle a little bit and very gently release on the clutch to stop on back and front brake th clutch and stop okay so I've used my back brake for that okay so start again hands in on the clutch throttle let it, and then when you pull back on your clutch you let it go on the clutch you'll feel it bite just on the car you can feel it bite and you just increase the speed on the right and let go of this side okay and it goes around very nicely so at the moment doesn't give you any any engine if you don't have your uh, thr uh, your um, your throttled so I'm just barely touching this okay just a little bit of a throttle I'll go the other way as well a little bit of a throttle as I'm turning, I'm looking in the direction 
I want to go. If I want to go left, I'm looking at my left. I'm not going straight. Oh, you're going to go straight. I'm looking to my left to turn left. One of the newbie, and I still do it myself, problems is if, you, if you're trying to go right and you look straight ahead, you can see you, you're going to go straight ahead because your body is trying to go in the direction of where you're looking. So I want to go right, but I'm looking ahead. Uh, I find it difficult doing it. Looking right, I'm going to go a bit right, okay? Makes a smoother ride going round, okay? Just checking my positioning of this car coming up, so I'm just going to pull in a little bit. I'm going to stop again. So clutch in, back brake, front brake, and stop. Left foot down. Okay, where's he going? He's in there. Okay. So I'm still in first gear, okay? If I let go of this, I'm going to stall it, okay? So what you want to do now is hold my hand on brake, try and get yourself into neutral. Again, it's a bit of a dodgy switch. There you go, there's nice neutral. I can let go of my clutch now, I can let go of my brake now. Just for safety, I'm going to put my back brake on, and it still runs, okay? And you can move it around from here, you know, it's not stuck. You can still manipulate it around if you want to okay so let's see so we've got our starting off and I showed you how we slow down to stop let's try a, um, to change the second gear so what I'm going to do I'm going to put myself into first gear so that's clutch in foot down into the first gear position to come into second gear I need to bring my foot up past the initial neutral which is so neutral is sorry the way that this um, gear system is is all the way down to first gear and then up half for neutral up again for second then up for third up for fourth up for fifth okay and when you want to go down a gear like changing gears down you go five then down for four down for three down for two and then all the way down the bottom for one when you start off if you want to then stop at a roundabout or something okay sometimes I cut myself out by going into neutral but it's is either going to be um, in second or first um, but again you need to feel that with this with any bike you need to feel where your neutral is and it's usually like a half click um, into neutral so you will feel a difference between a, um, a gear and a neutral click right okay so into first clutch in, foot down I'm in first gear that's neutral's now off so if I then let go of the look, you'll see it's moving on its own, you see if I let go of the clutch a little bit ok, foot on the brake just make sure nothing's behind me there's a car coming, I'm just going to wait because what I want to do is build up a little bit of speed and get into second to second and go around the car park in second there's another car coming he's going there, right, ok a little bit of revs, letting up the clutch a little bit, pulling down on the, on the throttle, okay, and let go. Right, so I'm first now, I'm going to now bring up to second, that's clutch in, and then my foot has gone up into a second position on the gear. So I'm up to 4,000 revs now, and I can go around quite happily on 4,000 revs or in the second gear notice there's no difference on here doesn't give you what your um, what your gear changes and some bikes do this one doesn't, I'm just going to go left here, look left, go left go around it's a good way of trying to do a little test for yourself ok now if I come across a roundabout I'm in second at the moment I want to slow down but I'm not sure if I want to stop or not it's too slow for seconds because I'm about to stop. I'm going to put my I'm going to put my clutch in down all the way to first, and I'm now in first gear. Can you hear the engine going up, whining? So clutch in, foot up, and let go. Okay. If I wanted to go into third, let's get some momentum going. If I want to go into third. I'm going to go clutch in and my foot up again into third. Ready? So clutch in, foot up, 
that's in third. Doesn't like it in this short speed, so clutch down into second. That's much smoother. At this slow speed, second gear is adequate. So in second gear, you can practice manoeuvring, okay? Let's try a manoeuvre. Let's try a really sharp, as sharp as I can. Whoop, no, let's try not. <laughs> See, I'm doing the same thing. I'm looking forward, not looking right. Right, I'm going to try. See if I can do a figure eight. Where's my points? Uh, all the way around. It's too slow for second, really, so I'm going to put the first. There we go. That's much better. Can you hear the difference? I don't know if you can with the uh, engine. Right, let's try this one for a figure eight. See what the turning circle is. <laughs> you can have so much fun on these little one two fives. So I can get around the other side of that. So I'm gonna try and keep around. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh. Well, it's not quite a figure eight, but. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got any cones or anything to go by. But you can wobble this around quite happily. So it is quite a heavy bike, but then I'm sure there's a lot of well, Harleys and things like that which are even heavier. And I've seen people doing some amazing manoeuvring with their heavy bikes. I think it just takes time and practice. See how, see how I can do this. So really go in there. There we go. I can't remember what any of the DAS is supposed to be, so um, I'm just going to keep on trying my lesson rights. Now, the other thing that you've got to do is emergency stop for DAS. And you'd have to do that for your 125 um, test as well anyway. And I, I think you need to get to, is it 20 miles an hour? 30 miles an hour. Someone please make a comic because I can't remember. It was a long time ago now. Um, but you, you need to go at speed and then when you see the person's hand go up, as in the car driving one, you have to then stop. So let me just put in second, I've got into second gear. All nice and quickly and then straight and stop. That's it. Right, that wasn't an emergency stop, that was an emergency slowdown. If you stop, apparently, and the engine cuts out, that's actually okay. But it just shows you how good the brakes are. So I'm going to just use my back brake, but you've got to be careful, because if you put too much back brake, you can actually um, skid um, the bike. It depends on the uh, road conditions. And if you do too much on the front brake, you can actually go forward. So... Just have a feel of the the ooh, that's nice. Um, the way the bike is. Right. So we talked about the throttling. We talked about getting into neutral. Talked about getting to first and second. Go into three, four, and five. You just literally put the throttle. You know, you clutch in and bring up your foot on the pedal. You know this. Um, putting it into your gear up two, three more, you know? It's um, simple as that. Put my turpins first and I'm gonna stop. So it literally is, you're just using this gear on your left hand side. Just bring it up, bring it up, bring it up and making sure that your clutch is pressed in all the time. I'm holding mine at the moment because I'm still in first gear, okay? If I'm in first gear, um, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to ready myself now. Ready? There we go. So that's because it's in first gear, not in neutral. Okay. And the other good thing to let you know about is if I think, okay, am I in first gear or not? I don't know. So I'm going to try and move the bike. And you can't move it because you're in, you're in actually in a gear. You've got to keep your bike 
in neutral before you can move it without the engine going okay so if you're stuck and you can't move your bike and you're thinking oh why am i stuck at the end you know my side um um my side thing's up and i've got my engine running light i've got my thing turned on but i can't move it hold your clutch in oh look you're moving it now because you're disengaging the um the gears and even though you're in first because you disengaged it you can move your bike okay so if I just, I can move it now. If I let go of it now, it's stuck. Yeah, I can't move it at all. Okay? I'm interested to see. Let's have a look at this. I'm leaving this in first. I'm not touching my clutch. I don't want to try and start the bike as is. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Nothing happens. Wow. Depress the clutch. There we go. It won't work if you're in gear and you've got your uh, clutch out. Okay, the only time it will work, um, you've got to get yourself into neutral. Again, this is a bit dodgy. Come on, click, click, little press down, little press down. No, nope. you guys have probably got the same problem as me. I can feel it going straight into gear. Uh, uh, for the purpose of this demonstration, it's not worth. There we go. So let go. Okay. So let's turn this off. Okay. So let's turn this off. That's my start-up button. <laughs> let's turn this off. Okay. Turn it back on again. Otherwise, we're not going to go anywhere. Listen to the sound. Okay. We're in neutral, so we can move around. Okay. I'm not touching that. Um, I'm not touching the clutch. I'm just going to press the start button. Let's see what happens. It works. Okay. What they recommend is they touch... You squeeze the clutch in to start the bike in neutral. Okay. I think the reason for that is it's kinder on the gears. I think that's what it is. Like you do with a car. Well, I do with a car. You put your clutch in. You put your foot on the clutch pedal... Um, and make sure it's in neutral before you start the engine. I think it stops anything turning around, or if it's in, you know, it, it's just kind of on the gear system. Okay, so that's it. That's that's my little ditty for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, it's been a real pleasure giving these little uh, video logs for you guys. Again, this is for my own learning. Um, if I've forgotten anything, um, sort of safety and things like that, my apologies. It's not a reflection on anyone's training or anything like that. It's just me. Um, and I, like I said, I'm, a, um, I'm still a very new road user when it comes to two wheels. Um, I'm always um, happy to hear your comments. Um, and I'm always happy to reflect on things I've learnt. Um, so, yeah. Thanks again for joining me today. And uh, I will see you another time. Uh, please do keep those um, comments coming in. I'm more than happy to uh, uh, to uh, come on board and, and uh, get some uh, get some answers for you if I know them. And if I don't know them, I'm sure the other people on the uh, the site can answer them for you, or I'll have a look up for you. All right. Okay. Take care. Stay safe. Drive carefully. See you in the next time. Bye bye for now. <laughs>